So why am I making this video two years later after I got deactivated off of DoorDash? I'm doing this to help you, whether you've been deactivated now or if you've never been deactivated. This is an update encompassing the three previous videos that I've made on this deactivation topic with DoorDash. And stick around at the end of this video, I'm going to give you the one thing that I really wanted to do, but I never actually got to do it. So this can save you time and grief. You can try this yourself if you get deactivated for similar circumstances. So stick around. You can look in the video description and I'm going to give you the timeline of the great terrible saga with this DoorDash deactivation. So check that out. From February through August of 2021, two years ago, this encompassed six months worth of torture. So what can you do if you've been deactivated? Torsten from the Rideshare Professor has a great channel. You should check it out. You'll see why he's passionate about helping drivers. He has a company and they have lawyers that will fight for you. So contact him. I'll leave his information in the video description as well. So as a result of me getting deactivated, this forced me to take a really close look at how I can prevent this from happening in the future. So the biggest thing that you can do, document all your deliveries. I've made many videos on this, so check them out. Screenshot everything about that customer order. Use the timestamp camera app. This thing is great. It puts GPS, date, time, all sorts of info in there. Use a body camera. This is helpful when you're doing drop-offs. You can document it and use a dash cam as well. All right, let's get started. One topic that always comes up is that threat of being deactivated. I did get deactivated off of DoorDash and I'll cover in this video the details surrounding that, the root cause, which is actually an adversarial relationship between DoorDash, the customers and the drivers, and then finally wrap it up with some key learnings for you. So here's what happened. I was delivering on various food delivery companies all the DoorDash orders that you can see in the screenshot, I declined, I did not take them. So on DoorDash, I did zero orders that day. And I'll read the letter that I wrote to DoorDash where you can uh, appeal your de deactivation and it'll give you information on what happened. Dear DoorDash, please activate my account. I think the app crashed or had issues this morning. I have no idea why you would automatically deactivate me for suspected fraud. I would never mark an order as delivered unless I did in fact deliver it. Today, February 5th, 2021, I declined a Jamba Juice order about 8.26 a.m. I do not recall seeing an order for coffee, bean, and tea leaf. At 10.34 a.m., I declined a Walmart grocery order that was roughly $21.50. I accepted a Pokestop order that came in minutes after that for $10.50 for five items at a total of about five to six miles. I was already at the Pokestop location when I accepted the order and as you can see in this attached video, I'm in the location where I was. So as I received that order and I started walking towards the restaurant, you'll notice in that video, I think everything's fine. Then all of a sudden I stop and I'm looking at my phone because the order disappeared. So I knew something strange had happened. I came back to my car and restarted the app and that's when I saw that I had been deactivated. So let me continue. So I was already at the Pokestop location when I accepted the order and as I was walking to the restaurant the order disappeared. I tried to get back into the app and then restarted my phone. This is when I discovered that your company deactivated me. As of January 11th, 2021, I had 480 lifetime deliveries and a customer rating of 4.93. I had a 28% acceptance rate, 99% completion rate, and a 93% on time or early rate. In 2020, I earned roughly $3,400 delivering food for your company. I respectfully ask that you reactivate my account immediately and then work to figure out what went wrong. As you can see from my account standing, any accusation of fraud against me is unlikely and extremely out of character. Please do not let this wrongful termination or wrongful deactivation stand. I have dash cam footage both inside and outside of everything that happened today in my vehicle and you are welcome to review it. If my deactivation was from other previous orders, please let me know the days and times and I can provide video recording footage of that as well. I record all my deliveries and maintain the footage. Thank you. 
So that was my appeal to DoorDash. That was about a week ago. I haven't heard back. Hopefully they'll respond, but in reality, I'm not counting on it. So that gets me into the second part. Uh, what's the root cause of the deactivation or the root cause of this problem? It's really an adversarial relationship between food delivery companies, rideshare, etc., the customers and the drivers. I already know from previous experience with customer service with other food delivery apps that they don't care. Um, unfortunately, the customer service function, it seems like English is not their primary language, so there could be some understanding issues going on. And even worse would be as if that company is encouraging, them, encouraging their employees not to help the drivers with their issues. So in essence, it's almost better once you have to contact customer service, you might as well just forget it and go do some more deliveries or more rides and make some more money. So the root cause is an adversarial relationship. I don't understand why that's the case. I know that the food delivery companies are a go-between the customer restaurant and the food delivery driver, but it shouldn't be that way. They already have access to our cell phone data, GPS location. We have text messages. We take pictures of the food delivery. So it's unfortunate that the company wants to automatically take the side of the customer who could be lying in order to get free food. And then the driver gets fired because of that. And that's definitely a sad event, a wrongful termination. It's sad. So here are some key learnings for you. Know that you are expendable. That's simple. You are expendable. No one cares and no one's going to care. So you are taking a risk when you're out doing different food delivery companies, rideshare, et cetera, any of the gig economy companies, you're expendable. So protect yourself. Work for many companies so that you're not relying on one source of income. This is just smart business practice and you owe it to yourself to make sure that you protect yourself. Another thing that you can do is always document everything you do. So in the chance that they happen to ask you for proof of you know, you're guilty until proven innocent, at least you'll have cell phone footage, uh, pictures and video that you can provide to help defend yourself. So I have dash cams. Um, I use my cell phone quite frequently and it's a good idea. Just constantly protect yourself. So how does it feel to get deactivated? It feels pretty bad. I feel like I've been ghosted. I feel like in today's cancel culture that I've been erased. And really, I just feel like I've been treated like a piece of trash. I'm easily discarded, not needed anymore, and not appreciated. And it definitely doesn't feel good. I am not trash. I'm worthy of dignity and respect. So I do thank you for your attention in watching this video. And share in the comments below, is, is something like this happened to you and how did you deal with it? All right, I wish you the best. I'm gonna be fine. I hope that DoorDash reactivates me, but if not, I will keep moving on and working for other companies. So stay safe out there. Remember, document everything. Do it to protect yourself. And in the future, let's hope that there's not that adversarial relationship between customers, restaurants, and drivers. It just doesn't have to be that way. Hi, Tony and the team at DoorDash. Please help me fix the glitch. I really need your help. Wanted to give you an update on my status with DoorDash. I did hear back from them early last week. And so I called them again to make sure that my account was in fact reactivated. And so far it looks pretty good. I'll go ahead and get on here now. I didn't even have to enter my password. If you can see, I'll go straight in there. And let's do dash now. We'll dash until four o'clock. And I promise I have everything starting dashing. And we'll just see if we get an order. And then I'm gonna accept it. And this is where it went wrong before. I was able to get an order and then accept it. And then it immediately kicked me off and deactivated me. So let's see what happens. Hopefully we won't wait too long. It is a busy area. 1025 doghouse. All right, I'll take that. Accepted. All right, resume dash. That doesn't sound good, right? I didn't pause my dash. 
you know, actually what I'm going to do is call DoorDash and see if my account is still okay. Let's do that now. I was first deactivated on February 5th. That's March, April, May, June, and almost July. That's almost five months now. And this is the seemingly third deactivation that I've gone through. So I'm back where I started, here near Pokestop, and it's just symbolic to show you my sense of frustration. And I really would appreciate if Tony and the entire team at DoorDash could help fix this glitch. I suspect that it's a technology problem and not a personnel problem. So please help me. I'm sure you think about it and you realize the technology and the computers out there are a means to help us do our job. They're not a way of replacing our jobs or doing our jobs for us. Especially when there's an issue that requires human intervention, this would be one of them. I've now been seemingly deactivated three times and each time I go through the process at DoorDash in order to try to fix it. And so far, with no avail, there's no help out there. I know that I've done nothing wrong, and even in the letter back from DoorDash uh, to the people at LegalRideShare.com who sent a letter on my behalf, they even clearly stated that I've done nothing wrong and that my account has been reactivated. So please, I really need your help please ensure that I am reactivated completely with zero issues. I really would still like to deliver food for your company. Please, Tony, please help me. I'm gonna reply back to the original email where DoorDash says that I'm reactivated, and I'm gonna share my thoughts, kind of like what I've shared here. And hopefully that'll be all it takes to get me reactivated. I do appreciate your attention and your patience I don't know if I want to make another video. I think you get the idea that this is ongoing and a struggle. So please share in the comments below. Has this happened to you? And what do you think I should do? I've got some news for you. Do you think I've been reactivated on DoorDash? I wanted to give you a quick update. In February, I was wrongfully terminated from DoorDash. And over these last almost seven months, uh, you know, we've tried several times, it just hasn't worked out. I called the customer support agent today and they informed me that unfortunately my deactivation stands, you know, it was just too hard to do, just too hard. So what the rep actually encouraged me to do is set up a new DoorDash account using a different phone number and a new email address. So imagine that. So that's what I'm gonna do. I didn't wanna jump to that conclusion and subvert their process. But now that I know that I have the support of DoorDash to do that, that's what I'm gonna do. So you can look forward to future videos with me out there dashing. And before you forget, please comment below. Have you ever been encouraged by one of the gig economy companies to just set up a different account? Just curious. So in light of this, the only thing that I really could have done and wanted to do was completely erase and wipe out my iPhone. I think there was some kind of remnant code on there from DoorDash. And if I had just completely factory reset it and started over, I may have had a chance because you saw in the video, I had already been reactivated. And then a couple of times I was deactivated right there on camera. So the only thing that I was in control of was my phone. And maybe there was some kind of data still on there. If I had reset my phone, that might have fixed everything. Now that's all that I could do. I can't speak for what DoorDash did or didn't do, but I would suspect that the problem was actually in their computer system. But I don't know that for sure because I wasn't able to get to that point to completely wipe out my phone and make sure it wasn't a problem on my end. So do try this for yourself. It's something that may help you if you're deactivated, completely wipe out your phone and then there's no trace of their code on there. Is it worth it? Yes, I made quite a bit of money on DoorDash and I wasn't able to do that because I was deactivated. So doing this one inconvenient thing might alleviate a lot of heartache for you so you can keep earning money. Now, surprise, you also saw me share that DoorDash recommended that I just set up a new account. I'm sure he wasn't actually speaking for DoorDash, but he still told me to do that. So going on two years later, I had tried a couple times most recently. I did get on the platform, but when it came time to take my picture and then compare it to my ID, 
it locked up and said that they couldn't continue and it stopped the entire process right there. So I've been unable to set up a new account on there. And am I gonna try it again? Maybe, you know, I'm not gonna keep buying phones and SIM cards and new email addresses. What I think is they have my information, my social security, just like you all, your tax information. And I'm pretty sure they're smart enough to link up multiple accounts to the same person. Now, I also want to share, I think many people assume that you can be deactivated for a low acceptance rate. That is not the case. Absolutely not true. I'll link information right here, the website where you can look it up yourself on DoorDash and also check the video description and I'll put it there. And I'm pretty sure all the other apps are the same way. They can't penalize you for not accepting orders. Otherwise, we wouldn't be independent contractors. We would be employees. Now, does this mean they're going to harass you and punish you if you don't accept orders? Absolutely. Timeouts, nasty messages saying that you're missing out. They're going to do that kind of stuff. Is it right? No. Am I a bad person? How is it possible I'm deactivated off of DoorDash multiple times and then you see on my videos I've been deactivated off of Uber Eats? Am I a bad person? Well, watch this video here and find out.